We just finished taping a Beyond Today program entitled, Is the Bible True? We took that off the title of one of our booklets, and we went through several of the proofs that the Bible is indeed the Word of God. We talked about Bible prophecy being a proof of the Bible. We talked about the proof from archaeology, and we also talked about the proof from science. That'll be coming up in a, a future episode of Beyond Today. Going through it was, again, a very wonderful exercise in just looking back at the uh, myriad proofs that the Bible is indeed the Word of God, that we can have reliance and trust that the Bible is true in every different way. One of the things that struck me as we were going through in, in the panel discussion uh, was the fact that so much of the, the skeptics and scoffers' uh, approach toward the Bible, really, uh, they're not changed by some of the logic that you can prove by archaeology uh, from science and what the Bible does really say in terms of the natural world and where it is accurate. A lot of those things ultimately don't really matter to a skeptic. And really, there's a point to be taken from that because as you and I look at the Bible, as we read it and take it for what it, it, it says it to be, the Word of God, a living, breathing document that is spirit and is life, as Jesus said, at the end of the day, for you and I, the ultimate proof that the Bible is true and can be trusted, trusted comes when from looking at what it says, reading it, and then doing it. In other words, we do what is said in Psalm 34 and verse 8, where it says, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in Him. Taste and see. Psalm 34 and verse 8. A key thought right there from that particular psalm that really shows us the proof of the Bible is in the doing, in putting it to the, in the practice. In another scripture in Malachi, God says, prove me now herewith. And that's what the, we ultimately have to do when we take the Bible and we live it and we prove it that it is indeed the Word of God and it makes a difference in our life and it produces what it says it does, and that is a, a, a fruits of peace and joy and contentment it helps us to understand our ultimate purpose and glorious destiny. Taste and see. That's one of the keys to proving that the Bible is indeed true. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.